Welcome back to Turnbull Garage. So this was an unplanned video. Um, I've got a 1991 Suzuki Sidekick. It's my stepdaughter's. Uh, and the four-wheel drive, it turns out, is not working. Uh, it's snowing here on the South Island. And uh, obviously we're going to need some four-wheel drive to get around here because the snow here is very wet and slippery. Um, wet, heavy snow. Anyway, uh, as well as that, uh, I'm going to be replacing a, uh, a tail lights burnt out. The light on the shift indicator is not working, so you can't tell what gear you're in really. Uh, well, she can't when it's uh, dark out. And there's one other thing, oh yeah, the e-brake cable, the, uh, when you pull the e-brake, the little light doesn't come on on the dash, so there must be a switch or a wire that's faulty on the, on the, on the handbrake. So we're going to dive into this thing and see what the heck we find. All right, I'm going to start with the easy stuff, or at least what I think might be easy. Um, the tail light I've already figured out, it's the bulb, 1157 is the bulb number. So I'll get that uh, at the store. Uh, we're gonna pull the center console out. Not done it before. I haven't looked at any videos online. I'm just gonna go for it. There's a couple of screws, one on each side here. You're gonna wanna pull the uh, your four-wheel drive uh, selector or knob off, and there's a Phillips screw there. And then this is gonna have to come off, I believe. So we'll see what happens here. Looks like I'm gonna have to remove this back console. I don't know how, oh yeah, there's a couple screws in the back, looks like. So yeah, to remove this console, there's a screw on either side on the back, and then just ahead of that is a little push pin. I don't know if that's original or not. It kind of doesn't look like it. I suspect it's normally a screw, but uh, we'll pull that out. There's nothing on the other side, and then I think I can get the forward one off. Actually, there's a push pin forward of that as well. So yeah, we'll see what, see what we find here. I got the, uh, the rear part of the console off and yeah, it is a push pin. There's no, there's no, uh, where if I can get on here? There's no threaded hole in that. It's just a push pin hole. But while I've got it off, I'm gonna look and uh, see if I can figure why the e-brake light isn't working on the dash. You can see the uh, e-brake adjustment, actually, you have to remove this to adjust your e-brake cable there. I may actually do that because it's pretty loose. Uh, and down here, let me get it on there. Where's the camera? There we go. Down here is the switch. So I've got to see if it's just dirty or what. I suspect that might be the case because the wiring's all here. It looks to be intact. So we'll look into that. All right, I got the push pins. Or that pull, actually only one side had a push pin on it. These two screws out, so I do believe this thing should come out. Around the shifter boot. There we go. So next thing is to pull this apart and find out where the light bulb is inside here. Oh, there's the bulb right there. There it is right there. It wasn't connected to anything, so maybe it works. Let's try the lights. Nope, that bulb was burned out. Let's pop that sucker out. I might even have one. So I do have a bulb. I just happen to have it in my, I got a box full of bulbs. I never throw anything out. Uh, so this one, it's got just a green plastic sort of little sleeve on it, little rubber sleeve. I should be able to just slide this off. There we go. It's coming. Like that. And slide it onto this bulb. There we go. Let's put it in and see if it works. Okay, let's just try and see if this bulb works. Plug it in here. Hit the lights. Hey, look at that. Beautiful, now I just gotta figure out where this, oh yeah, I can feel where it goes, right there. There's a little spot for it, right? There we go. So yeah, you just put it in from the bottom, turn it uh, uh, clockwise from the bottom, and it, it goes in there. 
Oh yeah, that's perfect. We got uh, the lights lit up. That'll make her happy. The center console is all reassembled. The uh, transfer case shifter is more centered now. It's Before it was way bent around, it's much better. Uh, I confirmed that the e-brake switch is working, but it's not illuminating the dash light. And the dash light does work. You know, when you turn the key on, it works. So there's maybe a wire broken or something. I don't know. I'll have to dig into that a bit deeper. And uh, the light in the shift indicator. Uh, is not working. So the next thing to work on is the four wheel drive. My plan is to put this thing up, all four wheels up in the air, uh, and uh, start the thing, put it in gear in four wheel drive and see what's happening. If the front drive shaft is spinning, and in which case it's either the front diff or the one of the hubs not working, or it's the transfer case not working, I don't know. But uh, oh, that's the easiest way I can think to uh, start troubleshooting. Always a little nerve wracking, but uh, yeah, the rear wheels are going. Let's we'll see if this side's going. Yeah, so let's uh, put her in four wheel drive and see if the front ones go. All right, put her in four low. Rear wheels are going. Something is squealing here. That axle's not going. Oh, that one is. That would lead me to believe there's a problem with that front hub. All right, I just popped the uh, left front wheel off. Uh, this thing has got spacers. Actually, I think they might be wheel adapters. It looks like the studs are sticking a little further than the uh, standard bolt pattern. So I'm gonna pull this off. I've, I've never worked on one of these before. I haven't looked online. I'm thinking I gotta pull these bolts out, but I'm gonna pop this uh, spacer ring off then I can get at the side of these with a wrench because right now they're kind of, you can't get at them. Just pulled the spacer ring off and interestingly standard lug nut he actually whoever had this had these in backwards so it was the flat part against there and not the tapered i don't know why they would have done that uh <laughs> obviously the lug or the the hub is centering it but i will be putting those on correctly probably checking the other side too while i'm at it all right the lighting's not that great but it looks like you can still see it so I'm going to pull these, uh, looks like there's six bolts to pull this hub off. Uh, so I'm just going to stick a screwdriver in the uh, rotor here so that it, uh, it won't spin. All right, let's pull this. Oh, wow, that was easy. Okay, so there's your drive shaft coming in, which I know is spinning and was spinning this piece in here. So there is something screwy with this. So let's go over to the workbench and we'll pop this cover off. There's obviously something not right with this hub. All right, I got this just loosely mounted in the vise so it won't spin on me. Uh, so yeah, I've just got my Allen. And uh, what size is that Allen? Looks like a five millimeter. We're going to uh, pop these little screws off and take the cap off. Ooh, I don't know. There's a spring in there. Do I dare pull it? Something is feeling kind of funny in there. And it's looking kind of rusty. Oh, I see it as a helix. That spring should pop out of there, I think. Yeah, I think it's just rusty. Rust is holding it in there. Okay, so I managed to get the, these two pieces apart. There was a spring that I kind of just unthread, I don't know where it went, it's in there somewhere maybe. But uh, looking, when you uh, spin the, the hub, turn it sideways here, you can see it pulls that piece in and out. So lock is out, free is in. So obviously there's some, there's some dogs in here, splines, that is, it's really rusty in there. 
that this thing should be sliding and I guess it probably wasn't. So I'm gonna take this all apart, clean it, grease it, and it uh, looks like there's a circlip ring on the inside here. You can pop that uh, circlip out and then all the guts should, I think, slide out. And then, uh, yeah, I think we'll have this four wheel drive working today. Sprayed some penetrating oil in there. It looks like that whole spline piece will just slide out this end. So it does move. I can get a screwdriver in there and just slowly uh, pry it up. Uh, but it is, it, I think it's just a bit of rust that's holding it in there. So I'm gonna let that soak a bit and see if I can slide that, uh, that, that splined hub, if you will, out of there. So I removed the snap ring from in there. And then this little piece comes out. I cleaned it up a bit. I'm going to clean it up some more. There we go. This piece sits in there. I'm going to uh, get that all cleaned up and lubed up. Looks like I'll take this uh, snap ring off here so that I can pull this little spinning dog or whatever you want to call it, spline uh, hub off. All right, I got everything pulled apart and cleaned up pretty much. Uh, now it's just gonna be a matter of putting it back together and, and uh, greasing it all up real nice as I do that. I'm not really too sure how it works with the spring-loaded uh, sort of helix there on the, on the hub selector, the free and locked selector switch, but I'll figure it out. All right, I got uh, putting her back together. I got this all back. Uh, <laughs> Or not this little this little one here that goes on the out outer outer part that was actually a pain in the butt the inside one here that's easy to work in uh, anyway I got her all cleaned up I've got some grease in there and I'm gonna throw this piece in next and it look you can see there's a groove there it looks to me like there's a the spring I think it actually might I might have to put it onto here I think it threads onto this somehow uh, and then turns over and gets put in. So it threads onto that piece there, turn it over and put it in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. Okay, I figured out this out. Um, inside here is a spring. And this spring is going to thread into the little groove that's in there. And that'll hold this in place so that when you spin this hub and it brings this in and out this will be attached to it and it will move in and out and connect to your spline in there so let's see if I can get this on here hold up my finger and I think it just threaded on there all right I got it on there the easiest hard to explain how I how to do it basically you can see in there the spring is inside that groove. And this, the groove is like a thread, it spirals out. So I went to, it was basically when it, a full wrap and that's where I fed it in and then just worked the spring in. And now it should, yeah, goes in and out with the, uh, with the little mechanism there. So I should be able to put this back together and hopefully it works. Okay, she's back assembled. <clears throat> Tighten up those little uh, Allen bolts and go put it back on. This is just some of the crap that came out of there that I rinsed out, but uh, yeah, that was pretty gummed up. It, uh, you, you spin it now, it works perfect. So I'm gonna put some more grease on the inside of these splines so that it, when uh, it goes on the axle, everything's lubed up nice. I'll probably put some around the outer edge there as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work because I already tried the uh, 
the hop and it does work now. So we're gonna stick it in gear, got four low, stick in gear. What the hell? One wheel there. Oh, my, my hub's not locked. Oh yeah, I guess it would help if I locked it, eh? Let's fix that. We got action, baby. Oh yeah. Four wheel drive, bring on the snow. All right, well, there you go. Four wheel drive is up and running. Uh, not too difficult a job. Those springs are a bit of a challenge. That, that one retaining spring and the spring that holds the, uh, that, uh, that spline hub, if you will. Uh, that was a bit of a challenge, but you know what? Persevere, get her done. I uh, got the light done in the shifter and we got the tail light fixed. So this thing is ready to go. Um, stepdaughter can drive it, her mom can drive it, and uh, I feel confident they'll be fine in the snow. So uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you learned something. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hey, subscribe. I've gotten a few more uh, subscribers. The numbers are going up. Really appreciate it. Love you guys. Thanks a lot.